Thank you both for being here with the Crafts Council as part of the Crafts School um, Yinkers Challenge. Um, Mr Doherty, or Dennis. Dennis, yeah, that's fine. He's an old art school teacher, yes, we'll come yeah. to that bit more a bit later. Yeah. But Yinka, um, I know you set a challenge as part of the Crafts School um, programme to encourage teachers, students, schools to get involved in crafting and making. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, I think you know I you know I grew up in North London and you know I've always found you know art and design you know such a really sort of powerful you know medium of kind of expressing how you're feeling or you know expressing ideas and and it kind of it really helped me you know sort of set up my studio um, but also I think there's really something quite powerful about storytelling within design um, and something I wasn't really encouraged to do you know throughout my kind of you know uh, childhood you know into through like college and then my A levels and university. But I think I sort of found that later on mm. when I sort of set up my own studio. So I want to try and encourage you know the youth and the young children in schools to really you know tell their own sort of personal stories within design. Maybe it's about family or friends or experiences, um, and that could be a pavilion, it could be a chair, it could be a you know a, it could be anything. Yeah. You know, there are there are no rules, but yeah. just try and tell a story within design that is expressive, but also community led, but also sort of quite joyful and playful. Yeah, brilliant. You know. And it was your idea for us to have this meeting today with your old school art teacher, yeah. Mr. Doherty, or Dennis. Yeah. And um, how, how does it feel seeing each other after all this well, time? <laughs> I mean, I do remember the class that Yinka was in, and they were a very lively uh, group of lads. But Yinka was very focused on getting his work and getting a good standard of work. And, I mean, the focus that I had at the time was about getting the kids painting and drawing, particularly drawing from observation. Yeah. There was a lot of that. Because I think that's a key skill. But I think there is an overlap with, uh, you know, craft that has been kind of lost. And I think this kind of idea, the challenge, would be really good maybe to put a bit of pressure on management and schools to actually, you know, do something constructive in terms of, like, getting the kids more involved in a real design project again. I think that'd be really great from the point of view of, of actually how schools operate. Because too much is shifting away from design and... I mean, this country is famous for its designers, artists, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a billion, <laughs> it's a billion pound industry in this country, is, yeah. and it's and they're ignoring that at their peril, and uh, you know, basically it'll lose its um, its credentials yeah, in that regard. Absolutely. You know, so. I know you said that maybe there weren't many options in school for telling <coughs> personal stories, um, but can you remember any specific moments in Dennis's class that were inspirational? Yeah. <laughs> <or> <laughs> The class was, was yeah, you say, a very lively class. Uh, but sometimes, you know, I did sort of felt I was I drifted off and, you know, and then sort of maybe spoke a bit too much and I didn't get my work done. But so it would always be like, this is what you used to say, <laughs> sign, <laughs> focus. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm like, okay. But I think for me, I think I never talked before, but I think for me, you were one of the people really early on in my journey into sort of right now who believed in me because I always felt you sort of saw something in me, and then the others I sort of felt you sort of just like you know what. I'm not even going to waste time because he doesn't even want to do art. And but I felt you always kind of made me sort of like focus on my work, and but you felt I had something to to say, um, and I like that, and I, I want to thank you for that as well. That's what I haven't. No um, yeah. But yeah. Well, uh, it's just that uh, you know like, uh, when I'm teaching the kids, they've all got different uh, skills and different uh, approaches, and at the end of the day, uh, you know, my art room is full of stuff. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like loads and loads of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, it was, it's it was quite crazy. Different. It was plants and <laughs> lot of cheese plants <laughs> and like twenty foot high. And loads of. You uh, I mean uh, at the moment it's full of African sculpture yeah. and artifacts. You know. Do you think which, that's important to teach yeah. about the environment? That you teach? Yeah, I mean definitely because that that room that you guys were in, which they demolished, you know, they demolished that wow. block. Yeah, but uh, I've kind of re reconstituted it because I was involved in the rebuilding project. Mm -hmm. So I really recreated it again. But they're all little nooks and crannies yeah. where you could, you know, be in behind and stuff. It was all, it was kind of Stimulating artistically yeah, and chaotic, you know. I don't know loads books, of stuff. Right. Books, you had books, books and, yeah, yeah. Everything we could and you know, and your tables and was in the different middle. tables, different side, different chairs, <laughs> yeah, yeah. different stools. And, People say, no, no, it's all going to look like that class we're at. No, it's not. <laughs> it's the way it's stayed. So, and have yeah. you got any, you know, we spoke briefly about how creativity mm. in the arts and crafts might be, well, are 
getting kind of set aside. Um, have you got any tips for teachers, both of you, for teachers and creatives in schools who feel like their creativity is not being valued or there isn't space for it? Any kind of tips for teachers? Well, I mean, it's just that it, it is being pushed out. And I think what teachers are going to have to do, because it's just talking from the point of view of the kind of the political perspective, you need to involve the parents, you need to communicate with the parents. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I never really had a phone your parents up, but sometimes, you know, I'd have I'd be on the phone, <laughs> on the phone to your parents yeah, like you just, just saying... remembered an instant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. Well, usually it'd be, say, look, we need, we need more work on the kids. But it's about involving the parents in the process, and they can put a lot of pressure on the, on the school management to say, look, you know, we need to re-establish art and, you know, give it a fair level of accommodation on the, on the timetable, because... Um, you know, as we were discussing earlier, you know, the options, they very cleverly kind of constrain the arts by creating these option groups where, you know, definitely the brighter, maybe imaginative kids get cut out of art, get cut out of craft. They're pushed into science. If you're looking at art and craft together, I mean, loads of the lads that I taught and all, which just went on to be uh, architects. In fact, like we haven't Norris said the name of your school, you've just said it. Said always, important, said always, yeah. yeah. Uh, like Norris Nagama, he's an architect. Uh, Adoronomy Rufus, mm -hmm. uh, he's an architect. He actually, we were in a competition. It was a nationwide competition uh, for designing, which we were doing mm -hmm. in conjunction with Arsenal. Um, and it was designing bridges. Mm -hmm. And uh, Adoronomy and uh, Junior Matondo, they designed a bridge with metal and perspex mm -hmm. on it. And uh, the president of Reba, when it was exhibited at Reba headquarters, um, he, the president, awarded that the, the top prize, you know. Wow. So, so you I think I've photographed some of that. Amazing. As well as Inca, you've had several good exports from St. Aloysius. So. Yeah, yeah, loads of kids. But as I say, we used to, we, I, I know you probably, maybe you didn't get to go out on some of the projects, but we did a lot of work with October Gallery and we brought in um, the Nigerian artist um, Chima Baraimo. Oh, he came into school I did a big project mm. with the kids, you know, uh, doing mosaics, which is kind of, it's craft and art. Mm. So, you know, we did a big, large, you know, eight by four uh, mosaic with the uh, students. Yeah. And we went to the October Gallery. And we used to do lots of trips to Whitechapel, uh, Hayward, doing projects. Uh, the Rivers of the World was a big project uh, where artists came in, worked with kids, they did screen prints, and then they were turned into huge flags. You know, Water, Waterloo Bridge? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, these, yeah. yeah so that's all craft and art. You know. yeah. What I will say is actually, I think, is that I feel like when I was doing my GCC, you were very knowledgeable in not just only kind of like European, British, but you had knowledge of African art and you, you really opened my eyes to like Francis Bacon, Picasso, and we went to Orton Towers that time, we were drawing these sculptures. Was it, when did you that time went to Orton Towers? We could even do these totems. I've got photos of my, of my remember? The trip to Albert Towers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We came back and we were sort of sketching back. An art trip to Albert Towers. Oh, yeah, it was like, oh, it's Chesney World of Adventure. Yeah, Chesney did, yeah. that's it. I've got a photo of you actually in the photo, me and Ryan Barber and. Oh, yeah, we're all on there. Yeah, what was it? Yeah, yeah. Vampire? Yeah. And that was because we did a project, yeah. That was incredible, yeah. That was so funny. But where, where does that come from? How are you. Is that just your love of art? Like. No, it's just a. You know, yeah, it's, art is. To me, it's just a way of life, it's, you know, as you know yourself yeah. and from what, what you're doing. Yeah. It's an attitude towards life, you know, and uh, what, how you see things and just, you know, it's so enriching, yeah. as, you know, as, again, as you can say. But yeah, that project, the Chester World of Adventure, where we took them all, all you guys down there and it was an art project. So it was looking That's at pop fun. art and, and colours, lots of bright colours. Very bright colours, yeah. <laughs> Obviously influenced. That's so, I think that's so important to have that influence from things that aren't just art galleries, but to mm. acknowledge, like you're saying, that art and creativity is part and parcel of the, of the world we live in. Um, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a way of life. You know, yeah. you, if you are into art, you're into, yeah, you know, absolutely. and then it overlaps so many things. And a lot of people don't seem to see that, you know. Yeah. So limited, you know, it's all about, like, Academic, or it's really, yeah, yeah it can be and very like academic say, as well. Acknowledgement that the creative industries are such a huge part of the well, yeah. Inca, I, I saw that you in a video that you were talking about working with children yeah. and, and finding that challenging or having sort of challenges. Mm -hmm. of, do, does that give you a new sort of empathy for? Yeah, it does. <laughs> totally. <laughs> I did a workshop a weeks ago with um, the school called St. Julius St. Paul's in, um, in Hackney, and that was, I mean, they were, they were like, were like nine or ten, it was. It was it's, it's exhausting, yeah. <laughs> you know, and I respect teachers, 
um, just because I did it for just you know like two hours and I thought I couldn't be a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then you also have like I think for me like I think you're right. I think you know my parents never really kind of told me not I couldn't be an artist or a designer. They were like, okay, you know, do what you want, um, as long as you know you can survive and make a living out of it, which I didn't think I could. Because I was I was going to study fine art actually. That was I wanted to go and do it, you know, in like art school, but I didn't, and I went to go and do furniture. Um, but I think my family have always been really kind of involved in like my journey, like in what I want to do. And I remember actually when I was in year seven, I got put into this like X and Y band, you know, which yeah, is yeah, like yeah. which is like for me they say X was a kind of smarter brand, and Y was a was this, that's how that's how we saw yeah. it, you know. And I think I remember my dad saying to saying to the headmaster saying. My son doesn't belong in this class. He should be here. <laughs> and, and then in, in year eight, I think I sort of went from one band to another band. Um, and I think, for me, I think having your support from your teacher mm -hmm. and from your parents really does help, you know, yeah. and really makes you feel like you can achieve. So I think, yeah, I think in terms of creativity and design in schools, I think we, we need support from both yeah. parents and teachers. Yeah. To really kind of, you know, give them that support that they need to believe that they can, this can be a career. Yeah. You know, and just cel and also celebrate, you know, people who have actually gone to those schools and actually doing mm -hmm. amazing things. And be like, you know what, this is the proof of someone who's done it. You know, you, yeah. you can too. How important do you think it is to have like representation in the curriculum and like Inky was saying about celebrating personal stories as part of art? Yeah, I mean, uh, f uh, from the point of view of the curriculum, I mean, you can reflect back in culture. As I say, we were doing projects with Jima Baraimo looking mm -hmm. at African art. And there's a lot of uh, African lads at St. Aloysius. So, you know, they, they really related to that. Mm -hmm. And there was, and then we looked at, um, you know, we're looking at Ghanaian culture, Kenti cloth, wow, and the patterns. Mm -hmm. And so we did a big projects on that as well. Um, we were involved in competitions where they created their own Kenti designs mm -hmm. and stuff. So there is, and remember, um, Sean Scully, who, uh, I don't know if you know the, no. Sean Scully is, is a world famous artist, so you don't know, but uh, <laughs> Sean Scully, uh, he does, he does, <laughs> Sean <Hello>. Scully, <laughs> <laughs> Sean Scully, yeah, literally his stuff sells for millions, you know, uh, you know. Is he his own No, no, he, know. well oh. basically what, what it was, was um, Sean Scully, uh, was actually born in Dublin and then his family moved to Islington. So he went to school in Islington and uh, he does these large abstract p uh, pattern paintings. And the thing about it is um, he, his work was influenced by Moroccan art, which was influenced by Ghanaian art. So, you know, we're talking about like, yeah, yeah. You know, the influence of your Picasso, yeah, 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 African, African art, yeah. and, and that's why I have lots of African mask and art. Mm. But he is a world famous artist. And, he was definitely influenced by the kind of patterns of Kenty cloth yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah. And I think there's something really nice about that kind of um, mixed cultural heritage thing as well, being in sort of in a London schools where you've got a lot of kind of first or second generation. Yeah, well, you know what you're saying about the stories and about personal yeah. stories, that's where it all relates back to families and once they see that connection, like people like King Owusu as well, mm. you know, actually looking at his heritage and creating the work that he did. Mm. Uh, you know, met, you know, he's he's a very successful uh, illustrator, mm. and and a lot of uh, people have developed you know careers like Yinka has uh, from kind of their personal interests and what what yeah. drives them and yeah. the connections with their culture. Yeah. Because you know all the the bright colours, obviously well, very African. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Was it um, Asa Oki is the cloth from Nigeria that we were looking at as well. Asa, yes. Asa Oki. Asa Oki, yes. We were doing all that. Asa actually. He's probably got some. Yeah, yeah. Asa Oki. Asa Oki, yeah, yeah. So, because when, when I'm teaching, uh, you know, candy cloth, the uh, Nigerian kids say, oh, but Asa Oki. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll do that as well. <laughs> but it's about that flexibility. You did know? you have an interest, is it, you know, often we know that in, even at the sort of university level, art history is taught very much from a kind of, uh, European, a certain canon of art perspective. Did you have that interest to yourself, or did you kind of research? Well, uh, yeah, initially, you know, as I say, but you know. I mean, my favourite artist at the moment is the German artist Ke uh, Anson Kiefer, but obviously you look at Francis Bacon, and because you initially look at them, then you look at people like Frida Kahlo, you know, mm -hmm. uh, the Mexican artist. There's, there's a whole overlap. I mean, yeah. or Japanese art, like Van Gogh was influenced very heavily yeah. by Japanese art, so that. It's all these interlinks, you know, yeah. it's It's important that as educators we don't look at art just through one lens, isn't it? Yeah. We kind of broaden that out, flatten that out. Yeah, it's yeah. good that kids, I mean, 
drawing is a key skill in art, but there's lots of different ways of drawing. You know, do you still use drawing a lot in your I do actually, yeah. You know, my sketches are awful now, but not as refined as they were when I was watching <laughs> this But yeah, I, I do. Yeah, I think I always start from a sketch and then go on to kind of yeah. more sort of techy stuff on the computer. But but you're drawing, yeah, you're drawing ability. I was right. school was good. Yeah, okay. Do you remember it? Yeah, I remember. It. Yeah, I remember I did, it, yeah, and bright. And I remember that class because, as I said, they were very interesting guys. And I always liked those kind of classes that were, you know, always a bit edgy. This was always was a good laugh. You know, <laughs> but you said that Yinka was well behaved. Yeah, he was. In amongst yeah. that class. Yeah. Well, because, as I say, the room was laid out in such a way yeah. that you could, you'd be, there'd be a little group in there and some yeah. over there, and they'd be looking over plants and trying to find, hey, where's Sean? And he's, oh, he's over there. Mr. Atwood. Mr. Atwood. I just remember this where I sat, because I used to sit with. And there's sort of Bright and Miles and, 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 and Lewis as well and Neville and then you had the sort and of George, French. there was that, uh, there was a kid called George as well. George, George was, uh, yeah. I think he was Greek. George, maybe, yeah. Because remember we did some live George. sketching of him? Remember we did some sketching of him and we put him up on the, on a, we put an armchair up on the desk and we had a draw. Did that, didn't we? Yeah, did that as well. Did you choose it to be it's, You know, it's a shame. I, I probably, you know, I, I probably had, I kept a lot of kids' work. So and I probably probably <laughs> have somewhere your work in there. You're probably your GCSE piece. Well, I, I did. I did. I, know, I did this. I painted this church, this cathedral. That was my. I think that was my final project. I did actually. It's, it's oil painting. I yeah. still have actually. Yeah. yeah. That's what we used to do oil painting as well. They don't do oil painting now. You know. Because yeah. I was really into oil painting. You know. And, yeah. and drawing, so yeah. I got them all doing oil painting. The, this project that, yeah. uh, that you're proposing, I think, yeah, I think so yeah, yeah. will drive some energy into that, you know, <laughs> and uh, I think it'll be really good. Yeah. So if there was one sort of defining moment that you can remember from classroom with Dennis, is there one that you want to share? <laughs> Get focused, son. <laughs> I, <yeah. laughs> I don't know, I just think always, yeah, I, I don't know actually, I mean, there's so many, but just the fact that you, yeah, just kind of gave me sort of self-confidence here yeah, in something. Well, I think you guys all like coming to the art class. They always like, you always like, yeah, always yeah, like oh, I love it from the art. <laughs> cool, really, yeah. yeah. It's good, yeah. Um, I'm just wondering about your art education. And your I, went, I went to school, yeah, I went to school in the west of Ireland, uh, Caragonia Community School. And I basically, you know, just, I mean, at the end of the day, I think it's important that kids do projects that they want to do, not be told by a teacher. Yeah. I think that, you know, very dogmatic, you know, you have to do this, you have to do that and do it then, you know, I mean, it's, it's about them developing their own yeah. uh, interests and uh, what they enjoy doing and mm. developing their own projects and ideas and when I was at school, that's what I did. Yeah, yeah. yeah finding your voice. Yeah, it's just whatever, do what you're interested in, yeah. you know. You've talked a lot about observational drawing and how the importance of that. What about making and doing and using hands. Yeah, it? I think it's important to obviously draw and design, come up with ideas, you've got to get that done paper, but there needs to be, yeah, a refocus on actually getting kids using material. And it's about getting kids, yeah, hands on, learning how to use tools, mm. learning how to use machinery, and actually making objects, yeah. making, uh, you know, whether it's a chair or a, a cabinet or a little kind of conceptual piece, yeah. you know. Can you remember the first time you actually made something 3D. Well I made, so I made the clock, you were saying, in my, in my D&T class with Mr. Fraser. Um, and I think when you're young, you, this, it's great sketching something, but you want to see the sort of physical product, actually how do you make it. So the one thing you don't learn at school is how to start a business, run a business. Mm. Like those are really important life skills that I wish I was taught. I mean the maths and science is, is great, but I don't, haven't used all those yeah. things. But I think starting a business, yeah. a product, Marketing it. Self promotion. It's yeah. so key. Like we're in an era where product and selling is, is a marketing is and it's business plan, how do you write a business plan? Mm. You know, so those are things I think I wanna hopefully hopefully you know, see see a lot more in schools and just yeah. trying to give because everyone's so entrepreneurial right now, isn't it? Where it's an entrepreneurial era where everyone's doing, I don't know, TikTok or yeah. or what's this thing you can sell things online, what's this app called? Uh, you can sell clothes or Depop or whatever it is, you know. I was going to say eBay. But eBay. No, that's like. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, make craft is in making. Yeah. And, and, and making and selling. Yeah. Making so a living from what yeah. you love, yeah. which is what, what you do. Make, yeah. Making moulds, as I say, like some of our lads who were doing A level uh, 3D design, so they would actually make the model, you know, design it and make the model. Mm. 
Mm. Some of them are using Minecraft to design the buildings. Mm. But um, like one of our sick formers that I just had there, Kevin, he redesigned the school and then re made a model of that, you know, to scale. Because we used, when they're rebuilding the school, we see that we had a, a I sh I, um, somebody had thrown the whole big um, folder of all the design work in the in the skip. But well, I fished it out and oh got all the plans and everything, so we were able to use that. You know, yeah, we used to read a lot of skips, you know. So a lot of stuff, people put stuff in the skip and I'd yeah. take it out. Is that in the <laughs> And you talked about your art room and your art space and how it was full of things and plants. And yeah. How important is it for you to yeah. have sort of inspiring objects and things, artefacts around you? When we're doing like art, I thought like your class for me was like, I was always like starting to go there. I was like, I know what I'm going to expect. And I leave, I'm in there and I just feel really kind of joyful and positive because it's just, I know what I get from that experience of being in that art, art environment. You know, the objects, the, the, the scent, the smells of the energy, the flowers. It just does something to my to my to my soul, mm. um, and I think I don't get that feeling in other in 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 subjects at all. I don't get it, yeah. you know. But we'll going to your class was always you did. no. It was always it was always like you, you, we, we had to we were late for other other lessons because <laughs> we were yeah you're like you go to the next lesson <laughs> yeah and, that, and, that, and that's, that says a lot about the class and you. Know, new, and art, yeah, you know? Yeah, a lot of kids like to come back, and we come back, work to six, seven o'clock, man. I was always in school until seven o'clock every night, mm. you know. Music on, yeah, enjoyed it, you know. atmosphere. Yeah, 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 we'd have music on sometimes, yeah, sometimes, mm. sometimes, depends. Do we, do we, sometimes, 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 yeah, yeah. No music. Or some, you know, somebody, one of the lads bring in some music. Not much, yeah. Sometimes we listen to rap music, sometimes classical. Yeah. I'll make that listen to some classical. <laughs> yeah. It's just to try and calm them down. Oh, I, had, I had this lovely piece of African sculpture, um, which was uh, bronze, which I bought. Oh, really? Wow. Um, and um, I used to say to uh, some of my, you know, junior classes, yeah. I'd say, if you touch it, it would really calm me down. And it's magical <laughs> property. <laughs> you know, come touch it, guys. Like, I feel it, yeah, I feel the force. It's kind of like the role of the art teacher in a school to be a little bit eccentric and sort of push yeah. boundaries and do things. Well, that's it. Yeah, they all they all calmed down. So you touch touch the sculpture, you calm down. Yeah, you go, yeah, I feel it. I feel really calm. Yeah. Did good. you, Inka? I know you sometimes work with schools and young people, and uh, I don't know if maybe you, you or you've described how you worked with galleries and artists. How important is it for <coughs> schools to invite outside artists and craft people in? I think it's very important. Yeah, because you, you, I think one of the things I sort of find quite hard was that when I was doing my my in my degree for fun, but I couldn't see anyone who looked like me, I couldn't see anyone who was black, British, doing design, or I, I just couldn't see it, you know? So I think having someone like myself or Daniel Khalil or other people who are, who are of colour, who are people of colour, successful, and this is how they make money, mm. I think it's, as a role I think we, we, kids want to see that. Yeah. Because we can't, if you haven't got that to see, then what, what can you base off of what old people that you don't even can't relate to or can't connect with who are dead. But we want to see those people living, thriving mm -hmm. and going back to school and saying, you know what, hey, you can do it. And it will inspire young kids to mm -hmm. want to be artists, designers, mm -hmm. architects, you know? Yeah. That's what, I mean, that's why we had that link with October Gallery. Mm -hmm. they, they did a lot of African artists. Yeah. So, and then as I, say, we, I took classes to the October Gallery and then the artist, Gimo, came in. He's quite a well-known artist. He does very bright, very bright, colourful oh, yeah. patterns. Chimo yeah. Haraibo, yeah. And, uh, you know, so then he came in and did work, and then we did a lot of work based on yeah. his work, you know. Yeah. So the kids love it, you know. So there's, a, there's a kind of a, spe there's a space for art teachers, the art teacher role, but also something that having a visiting artist, whether they're famous oh, or yeah, not. That, yeah, as I say, we brought an artist to do the Rivers of the World, uh, the Flags Project. Uh, we didn't. I went over to t Turkey. You know, Turkish teachers came over here. I went to schools in uh, Istanbul. Mm -hmm. You know, we did a project with Adrian Evans, who who organised. You know, the Millennium. You know that big, all those boats going up the Thames. The, the Millennium was the Queen's Golden Jubilee or something. Uh, you know, so it's you know they came in. We did all screen printing, which they normally don't have facilities for. Yeah. So they brought in all the equipment. Kids all did it. They really enjoyed it, you know. Yeah. And then they had the stuff put on display on the bridges or you know, that's when I bumped it to you. 
a dog show gallery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exhibition of the kids work there, and then you were having an exhibition yeah, there as well yeah. at the same time. So. You, 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 you were different. You were different. You're like a rare breed of a team of art teacher. <laughs> you know, uh, I mean, you know, I mean, and I don't know because your kind of your experience and your interests are very different from art teachers that I know. You know, and I think you really, yeah, you inspired and opened oh, our eyes to. No, it's true. It's true. Yeah. I think it's very, really important to kind of to you know see other sides of art, not just because it, it can be really one way. Yeah. You know, and I think that's not art. Is it? Art isn't. Like yeah. that, especially like if that. you just access certain cultural institutions and certain cultural offerings, it's really um, yeah. You got to look at all the different variety of things that are out there, and not just be yeah. focused on yeah. you know like the National Gallery. Yeah, exactly. we we have had kids exhibit in the National Gallery. Um, Philip Caravaggio went to the Royal College of Art, you know, and uh, basically, you know, he is he's a really good fine artist, you know, and he's. Think they're gonna teach him? I told him, don't <laughs> make. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, last question. Um, you work with children sometimes. Is there anything that, as a maker, an artist, that you get from working with young people, making with young people? Do you know what I love about young kids is that it's just they they, they have no rules. They want to make a helicopter. They want to make a, they want to make a house with I don't know four chimneys, ten, twenty. They will. They just have endless ideas and dreams and anything's, anything's possible so I just love that because when, you, when you're an adult you just there's you feel like you put stop some things and oh, I can't I can't I can't when you're a kid I can I can I, I want I can and I, I just love their kind of creativity yeah and how it how wild and exciting it is so and I feed off of that yeah you know so that's nice and your challenge is probably quite a nice yeah space yeah to yeah, do, oh, yeah I, th I think it's a great idea do you think there's anything about the kind of um not art as therapy necessarily, but something, especially in this moment of time that we find ourselves in, is there something about the challenge and something about making that contributes to well-being or yeah. um, processing? Uh, that's a good question, because I think, you know, I'm 34, so when I was you know, doing my GCSEs, I think one of the things I think teachers didn't do is they didn't understand children. They didn't understand what they were feeling or like what's happening at home, whatever it was. And their thing is, go here detention and what it and that, that's not that that's not working but how about we try and sort of take that energy or that stories into design mm -hmm. or into an art piece or and i think that wasn't an option mm -hmm. then i think now we have different mediums and ways we can kind of express ourselves and art is for me number one tool and very big to let it all out and i did it over my work i talk about experiences that are quite personal to me yeah. family experiences school experiences i mean the chairs in my studio are about five characters I went to school with called the Chess Could Talk and they're based on five people that I went to school with in Anna yeah. Yeah. and they don't know about that, you know? <laughs> so I think, yeah, we can use design for change, but I think I'm excited about where it's going mm. um, because there are so many, you know, like new ways of working, new ideas and, and yeah, amazing platforms kind of you know, express ourselves within art and I think in especially in schools, we need to understand how we can help children you know, you know, express what's happened to their full potential, yeah. and I think art can can do that. Yeah, you know? process what's happened. Yeah. and there's something in using your hands and touching yeah, just things that is. I, I, I remember this lockdown, so many kids have been stuck at home and yeah, they've done activities at home but to get back in and start making and creating things mm. in school with their mates is, mm. you know, much more beneficial than being yeah. at home. I think, you know, the pressure has been on families mm. considerably over the last year and a half and uh, huge pressure on teaching staff mm. trying to deliver through Zoom and, yeah. you know, Google Classroom. But to actually get back in the classroom and making mm. stuff is... is and what about in terms of materials? Cause one of the things that um, we often find is that not all students or families will have access to all materials. What what are some sort of materials that you could suggest that are good for making that are cheap and easily easily kind of found? Just um, well, I mean, you know, we've <laughs> Just used to put you both on the paper, spot. <laughs> um, clay, maybe. But what also is all going back to the other point is, um, is that you know. It's all well having a teacher that's really want to, that's kind of open to kind of doing amazing things, but without the right support, mm. they can't, Could do it. they can't do it. So the, this is an example here, you know, he's, he's he's got great ideas, but without support, how can he deliver a, a good class and really get the, the potential of the kids because he hasn't got the support. So we've all got to work together mm. to achieve 
we want to achieve. You're talking about materials, you know, like, yeah, wood, you know, there's lots of wood, right? And actually just foam materials, well, you, you know. about finding stuff in the Yeah, they skip, yeah. Really, that's yeah. What I'm I used to get yeah. loads, loads of stuff. The school, I can't believe the stuff the school throws out. Mm. I used to go over to the skip, <laughs> but they'd go, the school would be taking stuff out and people would put the stuff out. Like, yeah, I'll have that. Even bits of metal, you know, we, we'd use metal. Because I don't bring in my own tools. Yeah. I, I've, I've done the safety certificate, you know, even though I'm an art teacher, I did safety certificate uh, for using craft. Um, so, you know, I wanted to get the kids welding and stuff like that, you know, mm. but, you know, they don't even do that and even do the DMT. Because I do welding because I'm, I'm doing boat building, I'm welding, I'm using all kinds of power tools. Mm. And my dad was a carpenter, so, wow. so that's wow. it. So, basically, although my mom was probably better at woodwork than he was, you know. <laughs> <laughs> was very practical. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Okay, so, well... Thank you again, both of you, for Thank being you here. Problem. It's really yeah. nice to see you both being reunited and reminiscing. Wow. Yeah, and good. also talking about the future mm -hmm. of craft and, and design together. And art. And art, <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> look forward to seeing the, uh, the outcomes of your challenge. Yeah, you look, look at what, it too, yeah. What comes back yeah. from that. Yeah. Thank, Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you.